welcome all in a similar vein to a video I did a couple of weeks ago uh, regarding my uh, run and gun rig and the breakdown I thought I'd do the same sort of thing with uh, my audio gear audio being the second most or the most important uh, aspect of uh, video uh, depending on which way you look at it um, I think both are probably equally important so I thought I'd go about uh, explaining uh, what I've got here and uh, why I've got it and how I intend to use it uh, once our COVID uh, thing all uh, clears away hopefully next year but uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you this uh, assembled at the moment and then I'll just break it down and go bit by bit uh, putting it back together again and explaining uh, on the way what all the components are okay that's the uh, system broken down to its uh, most basic component which is the zoom f6 uh, 32-bit float recorder uh, I bought this uh, after doing a fair bit of research uh, the only other uh, competitor was the uh, sound devices mix pre 3 uh, which has 32-bit float recording as well but there were a number of factors that uh, after a lot of consideration I felt that uh, the zoom would be the better option while the mix pre uh, appears to be a smaller unit um, it isn't really uh, once you start uh, adding the uh, bits and pieces to it such as the battery uh, the cables and so forth it actually changes shape uh, quite significantly and becomes a uh, far uh, larger package overall than what the zoom f6 is and i'll get into that shortly but uh, some other aspects of the zoom f6 that i preferred over the mix pre was the fact that uh, it didn't have a touch screen the mix pre's got a screen about the same size as uh, the zoom f6 um, but it's a touchscreen and I really have uh, difficulty with touchscreens at the best of times and a really tiny touchscreen uh, like this is a bugger to use so I prefer the four buttons that enable you to scroll through the menus and I've had no difficulty operating the system uh, via those little buttons and it's not as if you're going to be changing uh, settings a great deal anyway um, I certainly don't so it didn't bother me one bit uh, the fact that uh, uh, it's, it's only got a manual sort of control to it the other fact that I liked about it was, as I said, the battery uh, thing. There's four AA batteries uh, inside all the time, and you can then attach MPF uh, style batteries to the back of it, like that. You can put any size that you want, 550 or the 970 as that one is, and you can hot swap them and keep recording all the time. There's no issues whatsoever when it comes to, uh, to the battery side. The uh, internal batteries act like an ups, a bit like the Canon battery in the Pocket 4K and uh, that uh, allows you to do those hot swaps uh, if you need be there are six outlets uh, on uh, the zoom f6 which i think the mix pre 3 only had uh, three outlets from memory uh, but all the other aspects are roughly the same um, you can also power this by usb-c which uh, the mix pre also allowed i believe um, but uh, that aside i just prefer this uh, when you look at it the the overall composition um, form factor and so on uh, for me this was better and as you can see the top plate there which is designed to take the uh, uh, or adapt the camera to a, or the audio recorder to the base of a camera I've used that uh, and put in some uh, cold shoes and uh, they just now hold my two Rode Wireless Go receivers which simply connect in like that I should be looking more carefully from the top to stick these in but by the by so they are now really handy because I can use the uh, microphones on the cameras uh, to tr record internally into the camera as well as transmit uh, the Rode Wireless Go signal to the uh, Zoom F6 and as I spoke uh, a little while ago uh, it appears that uh, if it's not a 32-bit float being recorded and sort of transmitted uh, analog signal from the Rode uh, wireless go transmitter into the receiver uh, it doesn't really matter because the quality of the signal is so good that uh, I can take very loud and very low signals or noises and just boost them up and uh, they sound as good as gold so that's really uh, handy as far as I'm concerned so I've got no issues with the uh, audio reception on it and I can also plug in microphones if I want to and as you saw at the beginning I do have one of those and that's what is called a NUX, uh, it's a B3 I think it is and I use that or I haven't used it uh, in anger yet but the intent is uh, if I'm going to do some uh, interviewing 
I'll uh, use this for the interview recording so I can transmit uh, the signal uh, straight in there without having to worry about a lab and so on. Uh, it's an option that I've got and I haven't tried it yet as I said but uh, this unit works extremely well. It's typically used by entertainers and so forth uh, because uh, it has such a good signal. It has a sol solid base to it um, and uh, the tests that I've done it's actually quite a good uh, audio uh, sound that comes out of it so something for uh, the interviewing style as you see reporters and so on using it this is very very similar to what they use except this is vastly cheaper the uh, Shure microphone that I've got was very inexpensive uh, yet works extremely well good solid metal build and everything and uh, these two units appear to work, work uh, extremely well so I've got no complaints I could have uh, considered some Rode um, wireless transmission units that go into the microphones like this but uh, I don't really need to do that so I've just saved a bit of money but I've got that option there if I want to and the other thing that uh, you may have noticed is and I have spoken about this before is if I can push it through now is a Bluetooth wireless uh, transmission reception system that I use with my headphones so if I'm out and about I don't have to connect a wired headphone to my uh, camera setup or the audio recorder the Bluetooth wireless works very well this has got a uh, ATX very low latency uh, technology inside the uh, unit itself and so uh, the sounds that you hear coming in are pretty much instant so there's no sort of delay or anything like that and the quality is quite good all dependent on the uh, headphones of course uh, again I bought some very cheap headphones because these were going to be sort of tossed around and not really sort of uh, looked after a great deal so they were very cheap um, but surprisingly they aren't too bad the way they fit onto your ears isn't great and that's what I think you pay for when it comes to uh, the higher quality microphones so that's the only sort of slight downside but it's not as if I'm going to go around all day with these things on my head or my ears so it's not such a big deal but uh, that's the uh, the breakdown on the assembly of my audio gear. Um, audio, uh, I think, is as important as the camera gear itself. Um, it's been said before that uh, you can watch a crappy quality uh, video if the audio is good, but you can't watch a good quality video if the audio is crappy. Um, so it's good to have a good set of uh, audio gear. It wasn't ex obscenely expensive. Um, the, the Zoom F6, of, uh, of course, was the most expensive part out of it all, but uh, still well worth the money, and uh, you could go to ridiculous prices if you really wanted to go to the uh, top professional level gear. But for me, this is more than adequate uh, and far better than uh, you could have probably bought uh, several years ago. So um, I'm very happy with the uh, combination that I've got here, and uh, hopefully with COVID disappearing slowly, things might get back to normal in 2021. So that's all I've got to say for today. Um, hope there's something in it for you and get some ideas. Uh, but for now, I'll just say cheers.